Plaintiff Tara Vance dated the defendant and said it was love at first sight. Tara claims during their nine-year relationship, the defendant did nothing but cheat and even cheated on Tara with Tara's witness. Tara suing her ex-girlfriend for rent and loans. Defendant Loreen Fortin says she and Tara dated on and off, and she admits that she cheated on her during that time. Loreen believes she's only in court because she wrote Tara off for her new girlfriend, and she's countersuing for the balance owed on a cell phone bill. Start with you. Your Honor, um, me and Loreen started dating back in 2005. Um, I met her through a friend of mine um, on a blind date. I pretty much fell in love with her from the, be from the beginning. Um, I was married at the time. I got divorced, not because of coming out, but I did come out to Lorraine. We started dating. It was okay at the beginning, but very quickly, I learned who she was. She did nothing but cheat. Continued to cheat the How whole did nine she years find we out together. So quickly? How did well, she's very good at telling you and laughing about it. She thinks it's funny. She, she yeah. would tell you? Yeah, she thinks it's funny. As a matter of fact, this lady right here is the one she was cheating on me with. All I had to do was ask her if she was around her, and she'd tell me. Wow. It's very blunt. Let me hear from you. Is that true? Yes, it actually started. <laughs> yeah. I actually knew Brenda first. Yeah, I had sort the, of uh, been dating Brenda. witness. And Brenda and I were sort of dating on and off. Um, maybe the course of a year after our relationship, I actually met Tara. So Tara and I began dating, and she's right, it was an on-again, off-again relationship for nine years. You know, did I cheat on Tara? Yeah, I did. Did I cheat on Brenda? Yeah, I did. But did you throw it in her face and laugh about it? When she asked about it, I laughed because it's an uncomfortable feeling. About the one relationship? It's or about just, all of them? It was always these two. Always. I beg to argue that Okay, one. so you didn't have uh, a lot of other ladies that you no, cheated with. No, these two. <laughs> just those two? Yes. All right, and she knew about that. They both did. Right. Okay, so it wasn't like she'd come home and tell you, I cheated today. Well, there, there, <laughs> <you> know, <laughs> there, That's how you made it sound. There are, there are other girls, because at the time that Lorraine was with Brenda and with her and with me, there was also another lady. Um, we've been, like I said, we've been in a relationship for nine years. Up until the course of the couple months ago, the girl she's with now, she was cheating on with me. Now that the girl knows that Lorraine has been cheating, now Lorraine doesn't want to pay me back the money that I've lent her. Defendant Lorraine Fortin is being sued by her ex-girlfriend, who claims Lorraine did nothing but cheat on her, and she even cheated on her with her witness. Let me hear some background from you, and then we'll get into the specifics. In the course of the nine years that Tara and I were together, the on again, off again, part of that in the relationship I had is for a little while I'd be with Tara. You know, things would be okay, things would be good. When things would get bad, I'd leave Tara. Sometimes I'd stay on my own, I'd stay with my kids, sometimes I'd go back to Brenda. It always varied in the course of nine years. Um, a year and a half ago, I actually completely left Tara. In June of, I believe it was 2013, I Why? left. It was the wait of nine years. You know, I tried. And even after I left, I moved in with Brenda. That's and I was living left, with yeah. Brenda. No, I didn't have a relationship with Brenda when okay. I moved in. No. Okay. So even when I did leave Tara last year, around July, June, somewhere in there in it August. Was Halloween of last year. We actually went to counseling. We tried couples counseling. I tried. I, in one session, I felt I was being just badgered and bullied. And I didn't like it, so I opted out. That it wasn't for me. So I stopped going. Tara and I have always talked. We've never stopped talking. Um, I met somebody else, correct, I did. Um, you know, August is when the girl I'm with now saw a text message from Tara. And that's when she looked at me and she said, if you wanna save this relationship, you have to let it go with Tara and anything you have with her. So I did. I am standing in front of you as a result of that. All right, let me hear from you on the rent and loans. As far as the rent, back in uh, March of 2012, um, Lorreen and I signed a rent-to-own lease that was a commitment for 75 months. Um, she left in June, that is correct. We did officially break up Halloween, though. Um, she left in June, no notice, no nothing, just up and left. The verbal agreement between me and Lorreen was that she was to pay $250 of the lot rent. When, she for, when her and I first moved into this trailer, she was paying it. When she left in June, she up and left. Uh, 
I wasn't paying anything. As far How as the- How much were you paying? I was paying 250. Now I'm paying all of it. 500 a month? Yes, sir, Your Honor. And the unpaid loans? Uh, the unpaid loans, I, uh, I gave, wrote two checks out to her. Um, two checks for $200 each were to make her car payments. And this is while she was with the girl she's with now. I also have a copy of a check that I wrote out for her for All right, $80. let me see what you have. Any of the other That was to pay her cell phone bill. What do you say to this, ma'am? The rent and cell phone bill. As far as I know, that check for the cell phone bill could be for her half of the cell phone bill. As far as the other checks, I'm not going to dispute it. Do I owe her money? Yeah, I'm not here to deny that. <laughs> as far as this lot rent, I've been gone almost a year and a half. Not once has she ever mentioned me having to pay that. Why do you think also, we're coming now? back in and out in that year and a so, half and kept coming back and Why do you think she's she doing it back. now? She's doing it now because she's being spiteful and vengeful. She's bad. I have in front of me... I think I have a right to be. I have in front of me text messages from Tara. She said... She, and, and then she proceeds to tell me that I owe her $2,000. I ask her, what's for the $2,000? She never tells me what it is. Yes, I did. Just that I owe her $2,000. What did you tell her? I told her... She asked me in that text message. Apparently, mm -hmm. she didn't print them all off. Oh, yes, I did. Um, there is a lot of cash that I have let Lorraine in the almost year that she was cheating on this girl with. I have done a lot of loaning mm -hmm. to her. One of the times she had stopped by my house when her girlfriend was. You at have work. this lease you're referring yes, sir. to, ma'am, that you all both signed. You signed the lease with, uh, alongside her, ma'am. I believe so. Yes. <laughs> ma'am, it says the amount is one fifty-five a month. Right. If you actually look down further on the lease, it'll say five hundred. One fifty-five is basically the um, trailer payment, and then the rest of it would be lot rent. Ma'am, I read very well. I'm a lawyer and a judge. I'm sorry. This, it says, the term, term of this lease will be 75 months with rent payable monthly in the amount of $155. Right. Then what you're referring to is two clauses down under option to purchase, not regarding the lease, regarding the option to purchase. Show it to me, man, where you've paid 500 You overpaid them. They didn't beat you out your money. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, probably. But you're not going to beat me because uh, they beat you. Defendant Lorene Fortin is being sued by her ex-girlfriend, who claims Lorene did nothing but cheat on her, and she even cheated on her with her witness. You paid 250 a month when you were there? Yeah. The landlord tricked both of you guys. <laughs> so what did you think the 155 was for when it said that? Honestly, to be honest, I didn't really read the lease. I just signed it, just to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. All right. You didn't read it either? You just signed it? No, I did it? not. Nope. OK. Unfortunately, you all didn't have a contract then. Interesting. I don't know what kind of game you all are running, but the joke is on you all. <laughs> Wait. Didn't have a contract on that because you all had misunderstandings as to what it was. You didn't read it. Go back to the landlord and get your money. Uh, $480 is your judgment. What about the cell phone? Um, back in June, Tara wanted to get a new phone off my mm -hmm. plan with T-Mobile. Um, when all this went down about a month ago is when I originally texted Tara mm -hmm. in regards to paying the cell phone bill. She told me to turn it off. So, of course, I turned it off. I now have to pay $29.90 every month for the purchase of mm -hmm. that cell phone that she still has. As of right now, I owe 687 All right, there's the cell phone now. Have a nice you day. 480 for yours, and there's your cell phone. Have a good day, ladies. Yes. She gets this, right? Yes. I, Can't I even tell the truth in court, can you? <laughs> Through this door. Can't even tell the truth in court, can you? You ain't nothing but a lying manipulative Oh. oh. Y'all, everybody better stay away from you. <laughs> uh, I have good. nothing to say to her because she ain't nothing but a liar. She went in that courtroom today and lied, as I she always does. I didn't lie about nothing. As she always does. So her new girlfriend will now learn. That's all I got to say. But she ain't faithful. Never will be. Huh.